Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 3. Hej allihopa! Jag heter Mark. Hej, och jag heter Hanna. Uh, hur mår du, Hanna? Jag mår bra, tack. Hur mår du, Mark? Uh, jag mår jättebra idag. Bra! Welcome back to Coffee Break Swedish. This is the course in which you can learn Swedish with me, with our teacher Hanna, and our cultural correspondent Emma, who will be with us a little later on in the show. Today, Hanna, what are we learning about? In fact, how would I ask that? In Swedish, what are we learning about? Vad lär vi oss idag? Let's hear that again. Vad lär vi oss idag? Let's try this. Vad lär vi oss idag? Jättebra! Okay, so what are we, well, what are we learning about today? Vad lär vi oss idag? So, I thought we would learn about uh, where we come from. mm mm-hmm. And different nationalities in countries. Okay, so we've got listeners to Coffee Break Swedish from all over the world. So hopefully at the end of this lesson, we'll be able to say where we're from, our nationality. Obviously, it may be difficult to cover everything, but hopefully this will give us a good starting point. Det låter bra. Uh, What does that mean? That sounds good. That sounds good. One more time. Det låter bra. Det låter bra. Perfect. Okay, Mark, ska vi börja? Ja, uh, låt oss börja. So, I thought we would start with where do you come from? Okay. So, in Swedish, you say, var kommer du ifrån? Can you slow that down, please? Var kommer du ifrån? Okay, as ever, I'm leaving a space for our listeners to repeat that. One more time. Var kommer du ifrån? Var kommer du ifrån? Bra! Right, so what are those words in there? So the the, the var, I'm guessing, is where? Mm Mm-hmm. And kommer is... Come? Come, okay. And ifrån, from. Right, so th- I was actually wondering if those were two separate words, but ifrån is one word. Yes, and some people will be annoyed with this, some people will be happy with this. Okay. But we can both say från, yeah. which is from, uh-huh. and then we can add an I sometimes, an E, mm-hmm. and we say ifrån. And the difference is just when we say it, it just flows better. Okay, so I could say... Var kommer du från? Absolut. And also, var kommer du ifrån? Do you hear the last one sounds better? I like the bounce. Yeah. <laughs> var kommer du ifrån? Mm-hmm. Okay, right. So, var kommer du ifrån? Perfect. So, I'll ask you, var kommer du ifrån? Jag kommer ifrån Sverige. Let's hear your answer again. Jag kommer ifrån Sverige. So, you're saying, ja or jag. Kommer ifrån Sverige? Ja. Sverige, I'm guessing, is Sweden. Ja, precis, Mark. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, well, I know you're from Sweden, so I, I, I'm, I was fairly safe with that one. So let's just hear the word for Sweden again. Sverige. Sverige. Bra, Sverige. Now, I think I've seen this written down. Can you tell me how do you spell Sverige? So, S V E R. I, G, E. So the G has a Y sounding in there. Sverige. Yes, because we have an E there, we say Y. Okay, so Sverige. Yes, Sverige. Okay, um, can I come back to the kommer? Mm-hmm. If I remember rightly, the question was, var kommer du ifrån? Perfect, ja. And your answer was? Jag kommer. Ifrån Sverige. So this kommer, is that the same spelling for the jag and the du form? Yes. Jag kommer, du kommer. Uh, perfect. Bra. <laughs> okay. So if I want to say I come from Scotland, mm-hmm. how would I say that? Jag kommer ifrån Skottland. 
Okay, that's quite nice and easy. <laughs> Scotland. Okay, so jag kommer ifrån Scotland. Bra, jag kommer ifrån Scotland. Okay, can we learn some different countries? Perhaps our listeners are from other countries, so perhaps they might be from England. How would we say I come from England? Jag kommer ifrån England. Not too difficult. How would I say that in Swedish? Not too difficult. Inte så svårt. Inte så svårt. Ja, inte så svårt. Inte så svårt. Okay, it's not too difficult. Inte så svårt. So, um, I'll try saying that again. So, let's hear one more time. Jag kommer ifrån England. Jag kommer ifrån England. Bra! I think one of the tricky bits when you're learning a language is when words are very, very similar, but they're ever so slightly different. So let's hear the word for England again. England. So there's no hard G sound in there. Nope. Listen again. England. England. Bra! Okay. Jag kommer ifrån England. Jättebra, Mark. Okay, so we've got England. What about Ireland? Jag kommer ifrån Irland. Jag kommer ifrån Irland. Bra, Irland. Irland. Do you roll your R's quite a lot in Swedish? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> well, for for a Scottish person, that's quite good news because we ro- we also roll our R's. But if someone was saying. Uh, who, who finds it difficult to roll their R. Is it okay to say something like Jag kommer ifrån Irland? Or does that not sound quite as Swedish? No, th- no, that's fine. I think when it comes to Irland, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a good one. Um, it's other words that might be a little bit more difficult that you can't kind of make a shortcut. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about ringer. Ah, okay. So, is that something to do with ringing? To call. To call, okay. Um, so, r- ringer. Bra, jättebra. Okay. Is this just because you're Scottish? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll need to work. If we, if we find it difficult to roll our R's, we'll need to work on rolling our R's to sound properly Swedish then. Okay, so we've got uh, Sweden. Sverige. Sverige. Uh, Scotland. 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 Uh, England. 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 Ireland. 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 And we'll finish off with Wales for the, the United Kingdom, first of all. Wales. Okay, that's, that's very straightforward. <laughs> Wales. Okay, how would we say the United Kingdom? So I think this is quite important because I'm not sure Swedish people are even aware that Scotland and Wales exist. So Okay, right. We need to get that sorted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, is there a word for the United Kingdom? Storbritannien. Storbritannien. Bra. So, what does that literally mean? Um, stor is big or great. So Okay, oh, Great Britain. Yeah. Okay, so Storbritannien. Um, but would you use it? Would I say, Jag kommer ifrån Storbritannien? Well... I used to live in London Mm -hmm. and then I didn't have to care about this at all. (laughs) And then I moved to Scotland. And when I go back home, I when I speak about what is happening in British politics or anything like that, I have to say Storbritannien. Okay. Okay. It's just to make the difference between what perhaps Swedish people understand as England and uh, Storbritannien, which obviously includes other countries. Yes. And very often I have to give a... uh, Quite big explanation about okay. what what's the difference is. Okay, okay. Let's move on and talk about some other countries before we, we stop for a short break. Um, what about uh, another United country, United States of America? How would we say the USA? USA. Right, okay. So we can just stick with USA. Ja. Ja, kommer de från USA? Ja, USA. Okay. What about Canada? Canada. Okay. I'm liking this. It's all quite straightforward. <laughs> this is the easiest lesson yeah, that you absolutely. will have. Yeah, <laughs> um, So let's hear Canada again. Canada. Canada. Again, it's not exactly the same. We're trying to follow Hannah's pronunciation here. So one more time. Canada. Canada. 
uh, what about Australia? Australian. All right, see, there, there's definitely a difference there. L- let's hear it one more time. Australian. Australian. Yes, yeah, so we, we would pronounce every vowel. Mm-hmm. So, Australian. Australian. Bra. Okay, and New Zealand? New Zealand. Again? New Zealand. New Zealand. Bra. Okay. So, New means... New, I'm guessing, yeah. New Zealand. Bra. Okay, now, so we've learned it's Sweden, which I think you said was Sverige. Bra, Sverige. Sverige. Um, Am I right in thinking that there are also Swedish speakers in other places? Yes, so you have about 290,000 people um, in Finland speaking Swedish. Okay, so how do we speak, how do we say Finland in Swedish? This is a difficult one. Finland. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) I thought you were going to to tell me something really difficult. (laughs) I think you can do this, Mark. (laughs) Finland. Is that okay? (laughs) Finland. Finland. Okay. Um, And while we're talking about Nordic countries, perhaps we should also learn uh, Denmark and Norway and Iceland. Okay. So first of all, we have the smallest one. Island. Island. And is means... Ice, I'm guessing. Exactly. Okay. And then? And you have Norway. Mm -hmm. Norge. So that's a little like Sverige, isn't it? It is. So does that end in G-E as well? Exactly. Norge. Norge. Okay. And then finally, Denmark. 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 Perfect. Okay. We're going to take a break. And then after that, we're going to review all these countries and then talk a little about nationalities too. Det låter bra. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, we're talking countries and nationalities today. We've learned quite a few countries so far. Can we run through these, Hannah? Yep. I'll say the English and you say the Swedish and we'll leave some space for our listeners to repeat. Okay, låt bra. Okay, um, so starting with Sweden. Sverige. Sverige. Scotland. 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 Uh, England. 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 Uh, Wales. 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 Ireland. 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 And then we went over to the USA. 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 Canada. 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 Then all the way down to Australia. Australian. Australian. I think that went quite tricky. Let's see it again. (laughs) Australian. Australian. Bra. Okay. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. So it's a s as, a, as opposed to a z in there. So in Swedish, we don't have zs. Okay. So always pronounce, it's spelt with a z in mm-hmm. Swedish as well. But always pronounce it with an S. Okay. New Zealand. Bra. Okay. And then our Nordic countries. So uh, let's start over with Iceland. 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 Uh, and then Norway. Norge. Norge. Denmark. 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 And then finally Finland. 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 Tricky one to finish on there. <laughs> okay, so much for the countries. What about the nationalities? Well, how would you say, for example, I am Swedish or I am Scottish and so on? Yes, so we start with Sweden. 
Mm-hmm. Så jag är svensk. So this is the same jag är as we've had with uh, jag är trött. Precis. I am tired. Okay. So I can just say jag är svensk. Perfekt. If I'm Swedish. Mm-hmm. So svensk. And you said svensk and I said svensk. Is it the same word if it's a, a male or a female or how does that work? Yes. So um, in Sweden, we we don't have often the feminine form. Mm-hmm. It's quite old fashioned to use the feminine form. We could use, for me, that jag är svenska. Okay. But we don't use it. Okay. One less word to learn. Perfect. <laughs> so, um, we say svensk, jag är svensk, mm-hmm. regardless of our gender. Yes. Okay. So, what about Scottish? Jag är skotsk. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern. Mm-hmm. Is this SK, the kind of nationality determiner type thing? Precis, exactly. Right, so I might I might do some guessing here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, jag är skotsk. Bra. Okay, so let's have Swedish. Jag är svensk. Jag är svensk. And I'm Scottish. Jag är skotsk. Jag är skotsk. Um, English. Jag är engelsk. Jag är engelsk. Bra. Okay. What about Welsh? Jag är welsisk. Jag är welsisk. Bra. Oh, no, I, actually, I, I said those with a z sound there, so I should be welsisk. Bra. Okay. Is that better? Much better. Okay. Um, and what about Irish? Can, can I can I tr- guess this one? I'm thinking Scotsk, Engelsk, Welsisk, uh, Irlandisk. Nästan, almost. Jag är Irländsk. Irländsk. Okay. Jag är Irländsk. Perfekt. Bra. Okay. Um, let's let's move on and we'll just run through all the other countries that we've done. I, I realise that this is a little bit repetitive and we're doing different countries here. And obviously, if you're not Welsh or if you're not uh, Irish or American or whatever, um, then it's always useful to know these words anyway. So what about American? Jag är amerikansk. Say that again. Jag är amerikansk. It sounds quite fast there. So is it um, Amerikansk. Amerikansk. Yes, it's almost like you drop the E. All right, okay. Amerikansk. Perfect. Bra. Amerikansk. Jag är Amerikansk. Bra. Uh, Canadian? Canadensisk. Oh, right. See that? I was going to say Canadensk, but no. <laughs> <laughs> a different rule there. Canadensisk. Jag är Canadensisk. Jag är en Canadensisk. Jag är kanadensisk. Jag är kanadensisk. Bra! Okej. Okay. Uh, Australian? Australiensisk. Australiensisk. Bra! Australiensisk. Okej. Okay. New Zealand-ish? New Zealander? <laughs> Nya Zeelandsk. Nya Zeelandsk. Bra! Nya Zeelandsk. Okej. Okay. And then we'll run through our, our uh, Nordic countries again. So, uh, Icelandic? Islensk. Islensk. Nor- Norwegian? Norsk. Norsk. Bra, norsk. So, we've got an R and an S coming together there and they're making a sh sound, yeah? Yes, sometimes we do that sound. Okay, so is norsk wrong? Nope. Okay, so we can do Norsk or Norsk. Yep. <laughs> okay, double options. I, I think it's good to have options. Um, what about Danish? Dansk. Dansk. And Finnish? Finsk. Finsk. But Mark, let's go back to three of these nationalities. Okay. So you have three of them that you may hear a different version. So what would those ones be? Amerikan. Right, so you taught us um, Amerikansk. Mm-hmm. But now you're saying Amerikan is also acceptable. Yeah. Okay. What other ones? Kanadensare. 
Wow, okay. So again, I think you said kanadensisk? Ja. But on... now we can say kanadensare. 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 Bra. Okay, and another one? Australiensare. So instead of australiensisk, we can now say australiensare. Ja, precis. Why? What's going on here? So when we use the SK on the end, Mm -hmm. that is the adjective form. Oh, right. Okay. So it's like saying the difference, I guess, between I am American and I am an American. Precis. Jättebra. Right. So let's see if we can work this out. I am American adjective. Jag är amerikansk. Ja, jag är amerikansk. And I am an American would be? Jag är en amerikan. Jag är en amerikan. I am an American, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes we can, you you will also hear when we, that people are just dropping the N. Okay. So jag är amerikan. Jag är amerikan. But ja. that's still a noun there, yeah? Yes. Okay, I am an American. So uh, what about the Canadian version of this? Jag är en kanadensare. Jag är en kanadensare. Um, or jag är kanadensisk. Precis. Okay. And then finally the Australian version. Jag är en australiensare. Jag är en australiensare. Bra! Okay. Lots and lots of uh, places, countries and nationalities in this lesson. Now, perhaps you are not a Canadian or a Dean or whatever, but the crucial thing about this is that you're picking up this pronunciation and we're practicing different types of pronunciation here. Even if you're not one of these nationalities, then you can still say them. And if you're looking for other nationalities, then you'll find them in the bonus lesson for this episode. Now, just before we finish, we've got time to hand over to Emma, who's going to tell us a little about all the places in the world where Swedish is spoken. Hey, Mark and Hannah. Today, we'll find out a little more about the language our listeners are learning, Svenska. Swedish is currently spoken by around 10 million people in the world. Though the majority of the Swedish-speaking population live in Sweden, Swedish is also spoken by some people in Finland and Estonia. There is also a Swedish-speaking population in the US, known as Swedish Americans, most of whom emigrated from Sweden during the late 1800s or early 1900s. Swedish is the only official language in Sweden, and together with Finnish, Swedish is also one of the official languages in Finland, which is something we will discuss more in a later episode. So, here's some good news for you. If you speak Swedish you may also be able to understand and be understood by people speaking Norwegian and Danish. However, the level of understanding may vary with dialects and accents of the speakers. I understand most of what a Norwegian speaker says to me, but I have to be honest and say that I understand less spoken Danish. Having said that, I could probably read a book in Danish without thinking. This is because Swedish, Norwegian and Danish together make up the Scandinavian languages, along with Icelandic and Faroese. They're also related to other Germanic languages such as German, Dutch and, of course, English. The bottom line here is that if you're learning Swedish, then you're going to be able to understand lots of Norwegian and Danish too, so you're actually getting three languages for the price of one. You might also have spoken Swedish without knowing it, There are some words in the English language that are originally Swedish. These include moped or moped, a word made up from the Swedish word for engine, motor, and pedals, pedaler. Smörgåsbord, which is a buffet with small dishes, comes from smörgås, meaning sandwich, and bord, meaning table. A last example is the word for the chemical element tungsten, which translates to heavy rock. So now you know a bit more about the här fantastiska språket, this fantastic language you're learning. That is it for this lesson. Tack så mycket Emma och tack så mycket Hanna. 
Varsågod. Okay. We will be back again soon with more Coffee Break Swedish. Don't forget in the meantime that you can check out the bonus version of this episode, which includes a video version of the lesson, along with lesson notes and additional listening materials where we'll be introducing some more additional vocabulary and giving you further practice. And don't forget to check out uh, Coffee Break Swedish Facebook page where you can practice your Swedish and look out for our post asking, Vad kommer du ifrån? We would love to know where you're from. Absolutely. So, uh, tack för idag. Tack för idag. And we'll be back again soon. Uh, vi ses snart. Vi ses snart. Hej då. Hej då. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>